The owner of the Saggart Arms in Dublin was at the end of his tether. Since building an extension onto his pub in Dublin over three years ago, Sam Moorhead says he hasn't had an hour's luck. So, when all other fruit had failed him, he decided to call in the services of a witch and a medium. I any turn I took was a bad turn. Just anything I turned my hand to. And I was always a person who was told, no matter what I fell into, I'd come and out smelling roses. But uh, in the last three and a half, in the last three and a half years, I just, nothing, it's just one thing after another. So did you deduce yourself that there might be spirits on the premises? Uh, yes. You could hear footsteps running up and down when you go out, there's nobody at all there. Doors that you would lock, you come along maybe the next morning to be open again. I'm talking about with locks on them. And then back a couple of weeks ago here, a lady in the bar, in the middle of the day, now that's when she'd have a good few on her, used one of the ladies' toilets, and she went in and uh, she opened the door and there was a lady with a black shawl and a hat sitting on the toilet, and she ran back out. And it transpired when we asked some of the older customers that it was a lady who owned the place at one stage years back. Now, last Thursday, no, last Friday in the afternoon, my wife went in to clean the toilets. And she said that the water was actually boiling in the toilet. She couldn't put her hands into it. A week prior to that, another customer in the bar there's a shelf of liqueurs along just as she came in through the hatch there. One of those just fell down. This is a guy now who doesn't, he, he's a young guy, he doesn't as such drink. But the bottle, a bottle of liqueur fell down off the shelf, spun around on the floor and stood directly up without break. And he said he just couldn't believe it. And I mean, you're talking about a height of six foot of a drop onto a concrete floor. It took about a half an hour in total for a diagnosis to take place. There is a couple of spiritual elements, and they are not in a benevolent way, but they do tend to actually draw down on a negative energy. Eventually, both David and the medium Rose Smith concluded that there were in fact two spirits trapped in the pub. There was a mother and a son. The mother had died before the son and was worried because of his mental disabilities. And when the son passed over, he was, he was also trapped here with the mother. He missed the pardon to go. The owner of this place says he's had a lot of bad luck since he built this extension. Why would, you know, trapped spirits manifest in bad luck? Necessarily, they weren't really bad spirits. They were probably felt that they were being ignored. They did need to go over into the spirit world and didn't know the way across. So they would be making a lot of disturbance just to get known for the likes of us to come along and say no. So should that be it then? Should there be any need to do anything else? No, there shouldn't be any need to do anything else to come. Do you think this is going to work? Yes. And if it doesn't? Well, it'd be a pub for sale.